Hi, my name is Antonio Ala. I'm taking the class, um, what is it, <laughs> Psi 151. I am, um, just in case you're just a regular YouTube uh, viewer, I am in the class that this professor is uh, teaching. And uh, this is one of his videos. I'm very intrigued by a lot of things he had to say, especially about the um, asteroid hits that can actually damage Earth. And it's, um, you have to look at a lot of things that just fall on the ground. You take a like a nice big chunk of rock and you take it to the beach. And you get a rock that's about the size of two hands, just like this. And you just throw it up real high. You, you take all your energy and just toss it up as high as you can. Let that rock fall. And you'll see the amount of damage it does to the beach floor. Of course, the beach is very, the beach sand is very soft but you'll see maybe like a little displacement of, of sand. Um, it's not that big or not, not even going to harm us any bit. Now, can you imagine to the little creatures like uh, insects and ants, it's probably a devastating event for them that's happening to them. Um, you can imagine anything that's the size of um, a, a Pluto's moon or anything large enough the size of a football field can't do a lot of damage to a city, to a county, to a state, a country, or even the whole entire world. Any minute change in our um, system, in our solar system, can cause a, dev a devastating effect on our planet. And um, I would hate to see, <laughs> I really do hate to see that happen, uh, because I enjoy life on this planet as we speak. I love the United States, I love this planet, it's a beautiful blue ball. And um, and so fortunate that I I'm not able to go into space and see it as of yet, but hopefully in my lifetime I will, I will be able to do that. But um, I would hate to see all this go away because we're, at this time we do not have the technology or the know-how. Well, maybe the know-how, but we don't have the capabilities of getting off this rock before such a devastating event. Um, so it'll be unfortunate, but. Um, just taking that this small rock and throwing it in your backyard, whatever you have, like a little bit of dirt, you know, like maybe some dead grass that's growing around, throw it up um, high enough, or even toss it at a very high speed, and you'll see all that dirt just get displaced. Now, imagine on a larger scale what can happen. You take um, any type of device um, and throw it off a 10 story building, it's going to get dispensed everywhere, and you may even put a crack in the sidewalk below. Um, can you imagine something like hap something like happening that's the size of the football field or the size of a, of a tall building or even the, just the simple size of the Statue of Liberty can cause a devastating effect. Uh, we have large rocks hitting our atmosphere I'm at three minutes. Uh, we, we have an asteroid um, asteroids or meteors that hit our atmosphere all the time but it gets burned into space all the time it gets burned off in our atmosphere disappears and pretty much turns into dust by the time it hits us it's just little dust particles that's falling us that we really don't see or it probably just gets you know disseminated and we don't even we don't even see it um, we look at the sky all the time and we see shooting stars um, but that's of course asteroids and comet um, dust that's actually being burnt in the atmosphere a few of those still get does get through and does cause uh, considerable damage to people's cars backyards it may even have livestock in the middle of a field or even strike a human being there's a few instances where uh, asteroids has um, hit the planet um, captured on video in Alaska Canada um, one in um, what was that? It was a city in the United States that actually captured a meteorite during a football game. You know they're recording the football game, but then they you know, they tilted up and they you saw a meteor going across the sky. I think it was Colorado. I'm not. I have to. It'll take me too long to find out that information. But you know stuff like that this happened all the time. Um, I love the History Channel. And I love the Science Channel and all those other channels. And they had this one show called Mega Disaster in a um, four minutes, five minutes, okay. Mega Disaster. And um, they actually do show what, how a meteor striking Earth will affect the planet. 
in especially a meter that's the size of uh, this uh, of a football stadium or bigger. And so I can only imagine. Um, that I would hate to be here when it happens. Uh, I hate my children to be able to see it or my grandchildren. But again, as the professor said, it's not a matter of if it'll happen. It's when it will happen. We're just flying about space. We're just traveling this one big circle around the sun. We're just going about it at 65,000 miles per hour. Just going. I mean, we're booking it. I mean, we're breaking the speed limit 100 times forward. If the police can pull over to the Earth, it will get a dozen speed tickets and probably be taken to jail for reckless driving through space. But it's actually traveling at a very high speed. And all this, as it's traveling, you get all this junk flying around as it's spinning and eventually even though we miss it a few times eventually it will just collide right into it it will just collide right into us and it will be a that will be something to see um, if I do happen to be alive when something like that happens all I'm going to say is there's no point in taking cover because the basin's not going to protect you unless you're living in and deep 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 underground and hopefully the impact is not right on top of you because the the rock that's slamming into us or the piece of ice is going to probably dig a lot of um a hole really really deep it's probably going to dig it really really deep and but i mean if the rock doesn't land right on top of you you know you can probably be safe maybe a few hundred or mile a few miles above, um, below ground but um if we're if there's no way for me to hide, and I know it, I'm going to stand right there on my, I'm going to get on the roof of my house <laughs> and just take a front row seat with some popcorn and some, um, you know, maybe a drink or two. <laughs> and I'm just going to sit back and relax and enjoy the show. That's basically all you can do. Hey, but anyway, um, the professor didn't ask for a video response on his video, but I decided to do one anyway. I'm a, um, big video sharing uh, community site fan so that's it thank you stop recording <laughs>